a video off the internet where you film what you're going to put in the blue screen. I'm going to put this right here in the blue screen. Sometimes you can hear it. Um, I don't really remember if you can hear both of them or just one. But, okay. Okay. First of all, you need to make sure that your blue screen is well lit. Make sure there's no wrinkles in it. I, you can really put it up anywhere. I had to put it up on the door because I didn't have any room on the walls. The more wrinkles, the if you have less wrinkles, you'll have a better blue screen video. But and the lighting is really important because if it's too dark, the camera won't be able to pick up the right amount of blue and it won't cut. I did a video and it was without the light. And it cut off about right there because it got too dark. So make sure you have well lit. I don't know if this this might I don't know if you have too much light. Just make sure it's about the right balance of light. Now with Windows Movie Maker, the only thing I figured out how to do is to do blue screen. And you can use anything that's blue, a sock, a water bottle, a shirt, a tablecloth. I use a sheet. Okay. I almost forgot. If you only have it like I do, and you only have part of the blue, if the blue screen's not covering up your whole background, it's only gonna have where the blue screen. This is about in the middle of the picture, I think, or the video. So it's a, it's just gonna be the middle of the video we filmed a second ago. But if you have the whole background, it'll be the whole video. So wherever the blue is in your video, that's gonna be the part of the video that you're filming that's gonna be on the blue screen. Um, 